Well, I guess. Well, good good forenoon, guys. It's 11:30. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I'm on my way to my middle school to finish up the rest of the day teaching for my last four hours of observations. Woo -woo! Um, I'm really excited because this is like all I have left to do and I'm like officially done with the semester like officially like legit like a thousand percent I mean like I basically have been done with the semester because I didn't have any exams or anything to do but I still had to get these observation hours in and I was stressing because um, like I said yesterday was Monday and it um, this county was closed and then we were supposed to get um, well some I guess some Oh my god, I cannot talk today. Okay. So we got snow again last night. Well, not, I don't think our county got snow. But I was freaking out because I saw the weather and they were like, Ew, possibility of snow tomorrow. And I was like, no balls away because this is just not okay. I need to go to this placement. I have to stay the last day I can do it. So I was like freaking out a little bit last night. But I kept like refreshing the snow watch map thing. And yeah was not closed today in Kentucky thank goodness at least not my county there were some counties that were closed but not mine and there's a lot of Tennessee counties that got closed too it was like it's weird I don't know it's like the mid mid Tennessee I guess got all the snow we didn't get it up in my neck of the woods anyway I'm just rambling now um, this morning I went to um, to my advisement meeting for student teaching and I've got cleared for student teaching, so I'm like, good to go. I'm so excited. I was really nervous at, nervous, <laughs> nervous at first. Like at the beginning of the semester, I was really nervous. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be student teaching. Oh my God, I don't think I can do it. Oh my God, I'm not ready. But now, like, I'm so ready. I think I'm ready. I'm like so ready to get over with. I'm excited about it. I'm not afraid anymore. So yeah, I'm really excited and I think it'll be fun. Um, I don't know, we'll see though. These freaking middle school kids are a trip. They're freaking bad, so I don't know. Luckily, the middle school is my second placement. Because at my first placement, which at the high school, I have I will be there from January 21st until March, I think, 18th. And um, that placement I have, there's this thing called Ed TPA, and basically I have to like it's basically like this huge project I have to do in order to pass student teaching, pretty much. I'm not going to go into details because it's really long and it's really boring and it probably won't even make any sense to anybody who is an education person. But anyway, so I have to go with my first placement and I'm so glad that my first placement is at the high school because first of all, those kids are so much more well behaved. My mentor teacher is amazing. He's so helpful, he's so awesome. Like, I'm so freaking lucky. Like, I'm in the perfect freaking place for that Ed TPA. Like, I'm so happy. And yeah, so I'm just really excited. And had had that been, had I had to do my Ed TPA at this middle school placement, I probably would be in some big trouble because, those, like I said, those kids are bad and the teacher is not, I don't think, she's not as good. I'm not gonna say she's not a good teacher, but she's not as good as my high school teacher is. And uh, yeah, like my high school teacher, he's he seems so interested in helping me and like, like I don't know, he just, I feel like he really cares about me and his students and how we do together. This other teacher, I feel like, I feel like she's gonna be a teacher that just leaves me in the classroom and drops her class on me for two months. I, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. So far she hasn't been as resourceful and helpful or seemed to reach out to me as my other teacher has. So, I don't know, I'm a little nervous about this middle school placement. I mean, she seems cool and all, like, she seems nice, like, she's nice and like, she's cool to like chill with, but I'm not here to chill. I'm here to learn and um, experience and I don't know, so far she hasn't been doing it for me. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Um, 
So yeah, I'm like basically driving all over freaking town today. Cause first, like I had, I had to go to that meeting at my campus, which is like freaking like 30 minutes that way. And then I went home and I had some lunch and I changed clothes to my more professional look. And then I'm driving 30 minutes this way to go to Hopkinsville to go teach today. And then I have to drive, I guess a total of about an hour to go back to campus because I have to go turn in these um, paperwork that shows that I've completed my hours and all that stuff. And then I'm gonna swoop, drive 30 minutes back this way to go home and I need to go to Walmart and I need to um, stop by the mall to go pick up my last paycheck from the pizza place. And yeah, so I'm like gonna be like wasting all types of gas today, burner. Anyway, I'm totally rambling now. I'm gonna be quiet, like, for a little, for a little. Oh, yeah. Sorry I didn't make a vlog yesterday. Uh, like, seriously, absolutely nothing eventful happened. Not, I didn't go anywhere. Oh, I went to the school, and that's it. Like, nothing happened yesterday. Nothing at all. There was no developments in any of these various situations in my life. There was absolutely nothing for me to talk about yesterday that would be remotely interesting or relevant or anything. So yeah, I just didn't vlog anything yesterday because there was nothing to do or talk about. So you guys did not miss anything whatsoever yesterday, whatsoever. Like I woke up, I went to the high school, I came home, I took a nap, and I literally sat around the house for the rest of the day. Like I, that's it, so. That was yesterday's vlog. It would have been super boring. I'm sure this one's, I'm sure these are all really boring, but whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm on my way to, back to campus. Um, I'm just leaving the middle school now. And you know, today wasn't too bad, but this one girl, she, okay, this is a seventh grade class, seventh grade science class. And I have never in my life met such a freaking disrespectful child in my life. Like I wanted, I was getting so mad. I was getting so angry. And she wasn't even disrespecting me. She was disrespecting the teacher. She's so freaking rude. And oh, I wanted to freaking snatch her up and freaking whoop her. Like she was, oh, oh my goodness. I just couldn't. I was getting so mad. I hope. I hope she gets freaking sent to alternative school or something by the time I start teaching in that class because I don't know how I'm going to handle this child. Like, she is ridiculous. Like, every time the teacher said something, she always said something to say back. And she's constantly talking. She didn't do any work at all. Like, they do like bell ringers or whatever every morning or every day before at the beginning of class. She doesn't do her bell ringers. She literally just sits there and distracts and disrupts everyone around her in general. I'm just not a fan of middle schoolers. I'm sorry. I really, this poor, this little girl today, she came up to me and she's like, don't you want to trade spots with me? Don't you want to be a seventh grader and I can be the student teacher? And I was like, um, no. <laughs> sorry. It's like, uh, yeah, I would not want to go back to seventh grade whatsoever. I didn't even like middle school when I was in middle school. If I was going to go back to any grade, it'd be like, Probably like sophomore or junior year. Like, high school is fun, but mm, not no middle school. Mm. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to campus and I'm gonna go um, um, turn in this paperwork and stuff, and then I have to go to the mall to get my paycheck, and then I'm gonna go home. So, yeah, I'm freaking hungry, starving. I hope mom made dinner tonight. Yeah, dinner! So, I'm about to do some laundry and go to bed. It's like 9.30, I think. Yeah, it's 9.36. So, yeah, today's basically over. I haven't really done anything since I've been home. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So, thanks for watching. I know today wasn't that eventful. But uh, I'm pretty sure some cooler things are going to be happening pretty soon. I think. I hope, at least. <laughs> uh, yeah, so good night, guys. Bye.